Well, the last time I did a vlog was technically in Disney, but I never actually uploaded that. I never actually filmed anything, really. I actually put the clips in the last video if you haven't seen it. So, hello, welcome to this vlog. Uh, live as a vlog, I guess. <laughs> And I'm just going to show you around this very picturesque park which I've come to. It's quite pretty. It's a nice day. It's not going to really be much of me talking, but if it is, it is. This is obviously filmed during the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. I'm having my daily exercise of a lummist exercise in this lovely park. So join me as I explore. I'll probably put some pictures and videos up as I go along as well. But yeah, enjoy what we miss, basically. By what I mean by what we miss, is in usually, you know, we go to work every day and we spend most of our lives in work actually. And we don't really get the chance to just come outdoors, explore the wilderness and explore scary little hills like that behind me. But I, I did the wrong decision. I drove past the shop on the way here and I never actually uh, got a drink. But it's all about the um, concept of trying to find yourself back, isn't it, anyway? So let's enjoy what we usually miss in the world. And let's actually take for granted that we've got all this time off and we can come for just a generally nice walk for the countryside. So let's explore. This is actually quite a nice shot actually because if you think about it, always in life, we're always come to a crossroad in life. We've got the one path where the future looks bright. We can go down the other path where the future looks uncertain. And that what I mean is you shouldn't always say yes. We should always say no. No is where you know exactly where it's going to go. And if you say yes, you don't really know where it's going to go. Now going on my philosophy, in that sense, I went down the darker path. Because I like to go through life of just a bit spontaneous. As you know, I like to go on spontaneous trips. Unfortunately, my trip to Dubai was cancelled, which would have been amazing, not just for the camera, but also for myself. I did it for particular reasons. I had a trip cancelled back to Florida for the third time last year. Again, I won't tell you exactly why. I mean, most of you know, but times like this where it's nice to like just reflect and um, take in what's around you. Don't take stuff for too granted. Live life on the edge. Quite literally, there's a massive edge there. So, yeah, live life on the edge. trips by myself to like let's say America or Spain or Ireland wherever I'm going next on my own don't you get scared of getting lost or don't you get scared of you know going by yourself and this happening have you ever watched Taken and uh no is the answer I think the whole important bit of it is the fact of getting lost and trying to find your way back I think that is the sort of fun of it all like right now I have no idea where the hell I am it's all just grassland I have a sort of sense of where I come from if you just do it there's nothing to worry about, you've always got your phone. As long as you've got your phone, your keys and your wallet, isn't that all you need? Anyone got a spare doom buggy? What I can borrow? That looks like a, like a perfect track to do it on. Mm, dilemma. Not too sure. Might go that way. Might. And then this is what ruins it. Love it. Now I've got to say, there's a lot of gas canisters. And it's a shame really that you got that. Right next to the country. It, it really is a shame. No words. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I feel like that one's a bit of a failed attempt out of four. And I generally have no idea what that one is. Maybe the smoke off uh, weed. <laughs> it goes all the way up there. So I had to turn back because it was a dead end. But do you reckon that's where that other dirt path led to? And if you don't want to know how steep it is, it's pretty steep. Oh God. Let's go this way. So pretty much at the top. I'll just pan around. It's quite a nice view, if I must say so myself. So a few other questions which I get asked by, you know, housemates or whatever is, what have you been doing during quarantine? There's several things that I've been doing. I've been 
topping up on my driving skills. So for example, my, my family live about an hour away. I've been driving to and from there, obviously keeping within a two meter distance and only going out when we was actually allowed to. I think it was like last Wednesday when the restrictions got a little bit more relaxed, traveling and that. So been going on the motorway, just obviously just topping up my driving skills. Been learning a new skill. So I've picked up learning the um, guitar, which is quite fun and my fingers are all blistered so hitting the strings a little bit too much reading watching catching up on youtube tv programs etc stuff like that yeah there's several things that you can do just have a quick peek have a quick look enjoy your time off i should say because as soon as this is over i'm pretty sure that your workplace is going to work you to the bone to get all that money back what they've lost enjoy the time off and relax don't be stupid and go to like beaches and that go to like countrysides where literally i've only seen one other person i know it could be quite hard but there's always somewhere where you can travel to. It's only took me five minutes from where I live. Yeah, and it's quite nice. Enjoy your time off. Relax. And recharge them batteries. Now, if you do like these style of vlogs, I would appreciate if you hit the subscribe button down below. Now, I don't make any sort of money whatsoever off this channel. Like, as you can see, there's no ads, and if there are ads, then it would be because I have copyright music in the background or something like that. But I never put the ads on myself. So if you do, do subscribe, it would mean a lot. Hit the like button, hit the share button, because these sort of vlogs aren't going to be like the sort of vlogs where they're always at theme parks or they're always, you know, of me traveling. It could just be me at home, which I used to do. But obviously, this is why I don't really film as much anymore. I like to just film when I feel like it, when I've got the motivation and when I've got the inspiration as well. So with that in mind, if you do like my sort of style of vlogging, my style of pictures and my style of content, do go and, um, like I say, do hit the subscribe button, but also go and follow me on Instagram, jamesbutler321. And I do upload some pretty awesome pictures, I feel, of all my travels around the world. You know, if I don't upload a vlog, then see if I have gone to Paris or Japan or wherever, you'll see me probably post it on my Instagram more so than ever. But if you do like these style of vlogs, just let me know down below in the comments as well. I do try and reply to all sorts of comments. I do like reading them. Like I say, I want to try and build a community where it's not just me, where it's me interacting with you guys as much as possible as well. And like I say, I don't earn any money. I think that's a positive as well, like just watching the ads. So that in mind, are you ready for the most famous vlogging shot ever created? Ready? Now, which way would you go? Residential? Country. Residential? Country. Yeah, I think I'm going to go this way. Oh, and for those who haven't clicked off the vlog yet, because I know it's not the most interesting vlog in the world, that path that I just walked up, it did lead to where I thought to. I'll tell you what, my sense of direction is impeccable. After an hour of walking around and filming a few clips every now and again, finally made it back to the beginning of where I started. Again, I know it's not the most interesting vlog in the world. I just thought I would um, sort of come up here and reflect on a few things. Hope you enjoyed it to some what. If you did, like I say, hit the subscribe button down there. And um, hope you enjoyed some of the shots in which I have put in the vlog. Some of them are a little bit creative, some of them aren't. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you're keeping safe. Hope you're continuing to be safe. Much love. And I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.